Hey everybody, it's Harlan, and one of the things I want to talk to you about, because we're still early, is I'd like you to get yourself tested for blood. I'd like you to go get yourself tested. A lot of places, my neighborhood, there are local labs where you do not need a doctor's orders. Of course, interpreting the results may take someone with um, some medical background. So if you can find a friendly doctor to prescribe some tests to do a general check of where you are, that would be a really good thing. Okay, so I'm going to run through some tests that I think it's in your interest to have. Now, when you have tests on keto, blood work on keto, the next time that you should have blood work, unless your doctor is telling you something otherwise, is typically about six months. It takes six months till you start to see a change. Let me run through some basic blood tests that you should ask to be tested or go have tested yourself. So first, again, some people are here just to lose weight. A lot of people are here for health as well. So it's a good idea to get these baselines. Number one, A1C or hemoglobin A1C. This is what they used to monitor a person's status in relation to diabetes, whether they are diabetic or whether they are pre-diabetic. Now, the A1C measures the level of sugar in your blood over a period of three months. So that means that anything that you change on a day-to-day -day basis is not going to affect it. This is for long-term change. It's considered a very accurate reading of the state of whether you're pre-diabetic or diabetic. Normal is less than 5.7. If you are, if you have metabolic syndrome, or what they call syndrome X, your A1C may be elevated. It is a concern. Um, you might want to have a BMP, and that's called a basic metabolic panel. It's a group of seven or eight tests that are used as a screening tool to check for diabetes and kidney diseases. Typically, both the A1C and the BMP are fasting tests. You've got to fast for at least 10 to 12 hours before. You want a CBC, a complete blood count. Um, some people are going to want you to do a CMP, which is a comprehensive metabolic panel. This gives your doctors information about the kidneys, your liver, electrolytes, acid base balance, as well as blood sugars and proteins. Um, just electrolytes. See, is, do you have a deficiency of electrolytes, sodium or potassium? Um, another thing is glucose, blood glucose levels, screen for diagnosed, monitor diabetes, prediabetes, hypoglycemia. Um, Okay, other things that you want to do is you want to do uh, complete cholesterol and triglycerides. You want to get those numbers. Watch them go down. Some people who test too often say, oh my God, my, my numbers went up on keto. Uh, just keep at it. My numbers before I started keto, um, I my um, triglycerides were uh, 297. And um, a year later, they are like 107. So... This is a substantial drop. Okay, um, you want to check, and you may want to see an endocrinologist, because if you have metabolic syndrome, which many, many of us getting started in keto had, um, there may be a thyroid issue. So there's a T TSH, thyroid stimulating hormone, and T4 tests, and your doctor may want to order those. It may be that you need to supplement thyroid with um, one of the standard uh, supplements, either the um, artificial or natural thyroid. But if you have a thyroid issue, if you have a metabolic is issue, then um, you really need to check that. If you are male, then you should definitely have your endocrinologist check your, check your testosterone. If your hormones are out of balance, it is going to severely impede your ability to lose weight. So go get these numbers. These, just like measuring yourself at the beginning, getting your numbers here are a really important thing 
so that you can measure your progress. Let me tell you, when you get, as I did, these numbers back, and people ask about them, and people who have mocked your keto, and they hear your numbers, they're blown away. So last night I'm at dinner. My brother's a physician. He's also diabetic. And I said, well, Stu, what's your A1C? His A1C is 10. Okay? He's diabetic. And I said, um, mine's 5.6. And he went, whoa, that's fantastic. Hey, Stuart, my triglycerides went from 297 to 107. He said, what are yours? He said, I can assure you that they are nowhere near either 107 or 297. They are far worse. So, folks, when you get these baselines for how you're doing in keto, you're going to have progress. But remember, this is stuff that changes over time, every six months. Check yourself at the six month. Check yourself at the year time. If there's a compelling reason, remember, most doctors are not that familiar with keto. So if they change things, if they insist that something be done sooner, do not be surprised if it's not a change because it takes about six months to start seeing the change. But you will see the change and you will be blown away. Do it for yourself. Do it for your health. Do it because this is a lifetime investment in your life. You guys can do this, and you are worth it.